The Daizaifu Tenmongo Shrine in Fukuoka, Japan. I'm Chris. I'm this is Yellow Productions. We do travel guides that are fun, informative, and entertaining. This is part of our series of over 100 videos on Japan. If you want to see any more of those, find a link in the description below to my Japan travel guides or subscribe to never miss any more of my videos. But in this video, we're going to be telling you everything you need to know to visit this shrine. This is one of the most important shrines in the Fukuoka prefecture and uh, people often come here to make prayers uh, so they can be smarter and they can do better on tests. Well, this video will tell you everything you need to know and we're gonna start with how you get here. There's two main ways to get to the Daizaifu region. One, you can take a bus or two, you can take a train. Either way you go, if you take the bus, those leave from Hakata Station, they'll drop you off right here at the central bus plaza. And if you take a train, well, the train will drop you off conveniently just right here at the train station. From central Fukuoka, you can take the bus at the Hakata bus station. It's right in front of the Hakata train station, right there. The buses leave from uh, stop number 11, 600 yen, 40 minutes. You can buy tickets in advance, or you can pay your 600 yen on the bus when you get off. But when you board the bus, whether you prepay or postpay, you have to pull a ticket when you get on board. That ticket says how many stops you rode. If you're starting from here, it'll say number one, and there'll be a screen on the the bus that'll then say how much your fare is when you get to Daizaifu it'll be 600 yen if all else fails there's an information booth inside you could stop there and uh, they've also got handy dandy timetables on weekends the buses go about every 15 minutes once you get here on the bus or the train it's just a five minute walk to the main shrine if you want to know which way well just find the street that has all the people on it. Oh my gosh, there are so many people here. So after about a three minute walk up that street, uh, the street bends to the left. The tour gates go that way. There's a big red bridge that goes over, but there's something I want to point out over here. There's a long line of Japanese standing in front of it. So you know it's something important and uh, it's actually this ox here. Uh, and this ox, there was a team of oxes that carried um, the guy that the shrine is kind of, uh, enshrined for, uh, but you can rub the head and it'll make you smarter, and you can rub the legs, and if you're hurting the legs, it'll make you better. But you can tell if you look this way that this is a popular attraction right here. The walk along the bridges is really impressive. There's lots of really big koi fish underneath the bridges, so stop as you walk along. There's also a bunch of these little shrines as you walk around. And, um, well, what they are, you know, this is actually one place that all the signs are in Japanese. And so it's a little hard to find out what they are, but uh, it's pretty cool and it looks really neat. And you can tell by so many people here, it's a great attraction. Like many temples in Japan, they have an area where you can wash your hands and your mouth. They have these large ladles here. You can pick it up and they've got some pictures up there about how to do it. You start, you can wash your left hand, you can wash your right hand. You can put some in your mouth to drink, but if you're gonna spit that, spit it down here, not into there. And then when you're done, you use the ladle and rinse the handle off before you put it back. Now your hands and maybe your mouth are clean too. Once your hands and mouth are clean, you're ready to pass in uh, through the main gate into the interior shrine complex. There's a little bit of English here that points out that this shrine is dedicated to the deity uh, Mishizane Sugawara. That was the name that I couldn't remember earlier. And then it also tells you if you'd like to make an offering how you'll do it. So we'll do that inside. As you enter into the main shrine gate in the main center here, it gets very busy. And I'm here during New Year's, so this might be extra busy. There's a lot of vendors around the outside of this complex. Uh, and then those little pink things that you see people tying on a string, they are fortunes. So this is where you pick up the fortunes. Uh, there's a slot here where you insert your 100 yen coin. Put the 100 yen in. Doesn't do anything, it's just an honor system. But then you open it up and you can get a fortune. So here's my fortune. It's, uh, it's glued. And it is written only in Japanese. It says good luck. Does it say good? Good? Good luck? That's a good fortune? Ah. <laughs> good. I found out that best fortune I got. It's like the best fortune ever. So hopefully I'll be super lucky and this video will reach lots of views. Something else uh, that people do here, uh, they buy these little um, wooden plaques 
and then they write on it things about schools that they want to get into. Because uh, again, this is kind of the shrine about your brain and learning and studying. Uh, so if you want to get into Harvard or Notre Dame, you know, maybe this is a good way to make that come true. Make an offering. Bow twice. Clap twice. Bow once more. I feel smarter already. The temple grounds, it's quite large, and behind it in the back, it kind of feels like a Japanese forest, so don't just limit yourself to the center. Back up here, there's more like old lanterns, these old buildings, it's pretty cool. And I love like the moss that collects on these rocks. I mean, that tells you they get a lot of rain here. And if you want to find a private spot to make an offering, up on this hillside in the back, it's a great place. You can get away from the crowds. Topher, he's a very private person. He wanted to make the offering in private. If you're looking for a snack, one of the most famous snacks to get around here are these rice cakes. They're about 120 yen. There's a whole bunch of stalls that sell them on the street. I just followed the mode to find the one with the longest line. This one has a line that like makes a U-turn back this way. It's hot. They're fresh made here. You get them, they come right off the grill. Let's dive in. Mm. You can see the steam coming out of it, which steams up the camera. Red bean, hot, pretty sweet, nice and hot. Probably one of the best red bean things I've had, but it's actually fresh. But if you want something more substantial to eat than just a snack, head over to Ichiran. It's right by the train station, famous for their ramen. I'm a ramen snob, and let me tell you, the ramen broth here, some of the best I've ever had. Though as you can tell, the line can get pretty long if you want to beat the wait. get here at 10 a.m. when they open. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click right here in this yellow ball to subscribe, or you might enjoy watching some of our other videos. If so, you can click either of them to watch, or you can find the link in the description to our entire Japan travel series. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.